What's going on guys? Lindsay here. Babs over there. And we're going to do some meal prep today with you guys. I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna show you everything that I decided to make and how I do it. And also how we're going to pre-portion out because New Year is coming up. So we are gonna go out for the New Year's and then after that, my program is starting on the 7th. I might go ahead and just watch what I eat and just kind of eat my staple meals, quit kind of going out like crazy. And because you know the holidays were going on, I had some foods that were unable to track. So now I'm getting into the routine of things again and I'm ready to rock it and roll. So stay tuned for everything that I'm gonna show you that we're gonna make. Okay, so what we're gonna put together today is I have the smoked Gouda red potatoes, Uncle Ben's jasmine rice, the organic edamame fettuccine noodles, asparagus, onion, zucchini, and chicken thighs. So we're going to cut up the veggies and put those into a tray. So now we have our veggies cut. The oven is set to 425, so definitely keep that in mind. Now I'm going to start the edamame pasta. So the servings is three and a half servings. I'm just going to log three servings though. So it's 230 calories per Sorry. Take you guys with me. Here we go. My lovely stove. So again, here's that. Here's the macros. So we're just gonna let that do its thing. And then we're going to put the chicky, put the chicky in a pan. So we're gonna do that. So when I meal prep, I typically try to make at least five meals 
for me and Anthony a piece. So I'm gonna do five meals and then he's gonna get five meals as well too. So we're gonna see what this kind of breaks up to. I do have some frozen chicken here in the freezer that I'm going to incorporate as well um, for my meals because I kind of eat a little funky. Um, I like to eat like a bunch of meals during the day and he typically eats two meals and that's about it. So I accommodate for him and for myself as well too. So we're gonna cook some chicken. For the chicken, I'm going to do a lemon pepper rub and I'm going to do it after it's cooked. So I'm going to toss it inside of the lemon pepper rub. So it's my first time doing it. Hopefully it goes well, we shall see. And for men, I suggest chicken thighs. Women, I suggest chicken breast. I know um, if you do have the fats though, I mean, if you're a female and you have enough fats in your macros and you want to do thighs, um, I would do it. You know, they're a little bit more fattier. They are, I mean, they're still a good protein source as well too, but I like to consume my fats elsewhere. So I typically don't do um, the, uh, the thigh itself. But Anthony loves them. We can air fry them, you can bake them, you can grill them, you can pan cook them. It's, there's so many different ways that you can do chicken thighs. just gonna leave those as is I can't decide do you want me to do the rub while it's cooking or after after right that's what because Mike tossed them in it yeah and then cooked it oh he did I thought he did it afterwards so I'm gonna make the lemon pepper mix right now. Okay, so. lemon pepper rub. Let me just adjust this really fast because you can't see my head. Oh. 
lemon juice. I use quite a bit of it. Did not poke a big enough hole. Not me. Not me. Now they go in the oven. So right now I have the edamame pasta going in here. So that's going to be three meals for me. I have the chicken in the oven for Anthony. The zucchini's mine. The asparagus is his. So for carbohydrate sources, I'm going to do the potatoes and the jasmine rice for Anthony. For me, I just focus on What's going on? Messed up. For me, I just do the edamame spaghetti and then I do the vegetables right now. So I'm also going to make sure that I eat a salad every day. So I do weigh out 85 grams for a salad. I will use Raspberry Merlot, blue cheese, or Kraft. And this is only 15 calories, so remember that. I will do that as well. And then for protein, I have frozen great value chicken breast. I'm going to heat up and use. And then I also have salmon burgers as well. So we're just gonna kind of do like a little bit of like a grocery haul because I buy all this stuff and like I'll fix a little bit. We do have New Year's coming up, so we're probably gonna go out to dinner and then um, gonna make some things on New Year's Day as well. So I have salmon burgers as well. I went to Trader Joe's and found this. So it's a mixture of broccoli, peas, French green beans, and zucchini quarters. So it's a nice mix of green veggies and it's 30 calories, four servings per container. So I'm gonna incorporate those. Um, rice cauliflower, can never go wrong with rice cauliflower. I love it. I'll do rice cauliflower with queso and then I'll add the chicken. So that's, that's a meal. Um, and I just microwave it, that's all I do. I microwave it. have is this. this is a new I found at Kroger it's um, chicken flavored riced cauliflower so make sure you buy the chicken flavored rice cauliflower and the chicken flavored rice 
We're different. We messed up one time, but it's okay. Anthony ate it, so it's fine. And then I'm gonna try this. It is a loaded cauliflower. It's 250 calories per container. So it's not terrible. Um, it's kind of small, but I really liked what they've had before and some other options that the All Natural Alexa has. It's found at Kroger. Don't remember if it's at Walmart or not, but definitely Kroger. I'm gonna do this. And then they make fat free Italian style Parmesan cheese. Which, by the way, if you look at the serving size on Parmesan cheese, it's like 45 servings per, per container. Like, I remember growing up, I would use like, a fourth of that just on my spaghetti. So it's crazy how much people actually you actually use and what the serving size is. But a pretty cool thing is lately the serving sizes on foods are changing for 2020 that they're making a huge difference on so that the serving size is gonna be actually more close to what an, a human would eat. Um, so I just noticed on Oreos because we had some golden Oreos from my favorite. And so it said this serving was for three cookies. So instead of two cookies, it's now three cookies. So just kind of keep in mind when nutrition labels are changing as we move into 2020, make sure you're looking at that and looking at um, if it has changed from the last time you had eaten the food before. Another cool find that I have, I gotta check my night in the pasta. And this edamame pasta cooks really fast. So you have to pay attention to it. I'm really bad at that. I don't pay attention to stuff as good sometimes. But, so it's time to strain. And look, I got handles on my, on my, um, I can't talk, on my cabinet. My, I have such a wonderful husband. He got me handles for Christmas. So he's, he spoiled me in my kitchen. He's great, he's over there. Say hi. So. We gotta take the noodles. Now, if you can get over the fact that the noodles are green, you're gonna be totally fine. They taste really good, and they are low carb and they're high in protein. So it's a good option for you, especially if you are you know, going meatless and you're looking for an option that has high protein. It's a, an amazing option. So it's now available at Kroger. I don't know if it's available at Walmart yet. I know you can find it at Aldi as well too. And your other local like health food stores like Trader Joe's and such like that. So those are some options as well. I'm gonna bring you into the pantry now, show you around there what we have for the week. So I'm going to make my chicken enchilada bake, which is right here. So it includes refried beans, tortillas, chili sauce, green peppers, and chicken. Another awesome find that I love to do is the 100 calorie bitter oats. Gotta have sugar-free syrup in here. You just gotta have it. I have my Redcon protein. I have these which are really good. You can order them off of Amazon. They're $13.99 for an entire package. So just keep that in mind. We have pop chips, barbecue. We have peanut butter puffs. 
we have up here, we have Pops again, which are the sweet cinnamon. Those are at Kroger. We have applesauce, green beans. I'm going to make maple glazed carrots and butternut squash. And then I have a zucchini or spaghetti squash in there. Little Bob protein mix for Funfetti protein. So those are my staples. Those are what you can find in my pantry pretty much every week. Anthony and I eat the same thing. We eat our staple moods, our moods, our staple moods, our staple foods that we enjoy. And then we, on the weekends, you know, enjoy Chick-fil-A or Chipotle, Subway, um, Texas Roadhouse, just something. But we are prepared for the week. So it's Monday. I'm going to cook up some food, cook this up. And the stuff that's in the oven, the chicken, the zucchini, and the asparagus, I leave in for about 30 minutes at 425 degrees. That's it. Pretty simple. And I'm going to microwave this stuff up. And we are going to move forward to portioning. So most of the stuff is almost done. And I'm just going to work on portioning some things out. What you're going to need to portion your food out is going to be a food scale. And meal prep containers. So we found these at Walmart. There was a 30 pack for $7. You can buy them on Amazon or wherever your choice is. So for me and my food, I'm doing the edamame spaghetti. So we're going to portion it out. So step number one is put your So step number one is going to be put your container on your scale. You're going to zero it out. This is three servings, so I'm going to just portion out 130 grams. And I'm going to measure in grams because it's more accurate. Again, if you have different container sizes, make sure you zero it out every time. Okay, so we're gonna, it's, I have extra, so we're gonna do 150. Or 175. I'm not denying anything, I saw him. And why didn't you report it? Because I didn't want to get involved with the cards. Besides, we used to be quite close. You were lovers? Very sharp. What did you want? He said he was going away and asked me to go with him. I said no. <laughs> didn't know I told you about that. And from there... If you don't tell us the truth... I'm going to add... <laughs> one serving of the marinara sauce to each container. So this is a half a cup, which I'm actually gonna do half of the serving and only make it five carbs. So I'm gonna take 113 divided by two. So about 55 grams. So we're just gonna sprinkle this on here. Same thing, zero out your scale. Three servings. 
Did you know I do work at the palace? So 15 grams. So what about that? First gentleman of the bedchamber, more regal than the king himself. Well, I'll we'll do 10 grams. How would I do it? Watch it down. The royal family always shows themselves to the people after Easter Mass. It's tradition. Not anymore. Gunpowder muskets. Good God. The to your and there is my meals. As I set the fire alarm off in the house because it's 10 feet, it's not even 10 feet away, it's like, I don't know, 7 feet away from the stove. And when it's around 100 or 425 degrees or higher and I open the oven, it goes to the fire alarm. So it's fantastic. But it's okay. So, I'm going to show you how I'm going to portion off Anthony's food. So, he has five meals. We have these potatoes. So, again, it's technically four servings, but he's going to log it as three servings. So, I'm going to divide the potatoes up as evenly as possible between three containers. Pretty simple. And then we have the jasmine rice and it's a serving size one pouch. He's actually going to divide it and make it two servings. So we're going to just divide this in half. So dump it all in one. And then we're gonna portion it out in the half. asparagus so the asparagus is cooked so we're going to weigh it out and track it as cooked so we're gonna do 50 grams of asparagus. So again, I put the food in the tray on the scale, zero it out, and lay the cooked asparagus inside. Again, make sure it's zeroed out. And for me, I'm going to do the zucchini and onion, and I'm going to weigh that cooked as well. So here, I'm gonna zoom out. And I'm just gonna divide this into two servings. So we'll have 
it's 250 grams per meal. And these meals, I will add chicken to. So we have the lemon peppered seasoned chicken, zucchini, potatoes, rice. Nice staples. So for the chicken, I'm going to weigh it out for Anthony again. What do you do? Zero your scale. Pick up your breasticle, or it's a thigh. And we're gonna do ounces this time. So I'm gonna change my unit to ounces. And I'm gonna make sure that he gets eight ounces. Eight ounces. Five point seven. So that got me four meals, and I'm gonna do the frozen chicken for the fifth meal for Anthony. And then we're gonna add some of the juices. Just gonna. So there you have it. That is going to be the meal prep for tonight. That's gonna to give us five meals. And then that's going to allow us to stay prepared for the remainder of the week. So I typically do meals that are going to last Monday through Thursday or Monday through Friday. And then that gives us a flexibility in the weekend like I stated earlier. So meal prepping is what sets us up for 100% success. It's going to make sure that we are saving time during the week. That means I'm only doing dishes pretty much once a week, maybe twice a week, and that it saves me time up for tracking as well too. So it is a fantastic thing to do. So I highly recommend it if you do not check your meals and prepare for the week, you're not gonna be as successful. So it allows me to see how um, how my food is digesting, how I'm getting my micronutrients in, I'm hitting my protein. So I try to make sure I'm getting at least 25 grams of protein per meal and some carb and fat as well too. So I hope this helps and gives you all ideas as well too. So happy meal prepping.